Welcome back to... Do you hear something? <laughs> Fine! I'll do an addendum to my overclock videos. Wait, I haven't done Driller or Engie yet. I'll just cover all of the balance changes since most of the adjustments are coincidentally for the classes I've already gone over. Wait a minute. Anyway, Driller's been waiting their turn for well over a month now, so let's make haste and update these overclocks. Starting with the Scout's M1 Garand, we have the perfect opportunity to mention the new weapon input buffer. With the old system, if you tried firing while your weapon was loading another round, it wouldn't do anything. This resulted in lower fire rates despite people clicking faster. Now your clicks get queued, making your weapon fire the second it's able. This is specifically important to our pseudo sniper because the rate of fire for the hipster overclock has been reduced in order to ward the weapon away from the overpowered category. And also it doesn't really matter since you won't be able to click that fast anyway. On the flip side, the Plasma Carbine's shield battery booster has been elevated to the status of not depressing. The extended overheat duration has been completely removed. Additionally, the overclock comes with a significant boost to shield regeneration. Now instead of you being completely useless once literally anything happens, you are able to hold your own in a swarm and can flex your newfound sustain. That means being able to live longer due to regen stuff. Speaking of long living, did you know Deep Rock is over 5 years old now? That's insane to me. Almost as insane as this video's sponsor being globally released exactly one year later. Wait, what did you say? This video is sponsored by... Raid Shadow Legends. Woo! Raid has been on the mobile game scene for over four years now, and it has the content to prove it. With over 700 unique champions, 15 different factions, a whopping 12 dungeons, and three different PvP modes, you'll never run out of things to do in Raid. My completionist dirges are already taking over. But that's not all. The devs relentlessly update their game to ensure a fresh experience for you to enjoy on both mobile devices and PC. And I mean it, just look at all these things you can customize. Join over 400... Meh players across the globe in one of the hottest mobile games around. My favorite part of Raid is that it quenches my urge to play games incorrectly. Instead of being lambasted for power leveling a single unit and giving her all of my OP artifacts, I'm actually encouraged. That's a healer, by the way. But Raid has more to it than just the game. Call of the Arbiter is a series on YouTube that gives us glimpses into the chaotic lives of the champions. Right now, there's a bunch of new content within Raid revolving around the series. Content such as the free legendary champion Artak, the mighty orc warlord. Look at this guy with his beautiful, beautiful revenge complex. All you gotta do is log in seven times between now and July 24th to get your hands on this fearsome warrior. Those bosses don't stand a chance. So what are you waiting for? Download Raid today and use my link in the description or scan my QR code for some awesome bonuses. We're talking the epic champion Drake from the Lizardmen faction, along with all this. Once you're settled in, find me under the name ExplosiveT-5. Maybe you'll be one of the lucky few to join my clan. Just hit the link in the description and I'll see you there. Um, uh, anyway, for scout secondaries, we have an overclock for the jury-rigged boomstick. Double Barrel was originally misleading and underwhelming. The devs remedied this by giving the people what they wanted and upgrading the clean overclock to the coveted status of unstable. Instead of firing both barrels in quick succession, you now discharge your barrels simultaneously. Since the ammo is being expelled all at once, the UI has been updated to show how many reloads you have remaining instead of shells. To bring this overclock up to the self-destructive standards of the other unstables, your shot spread is increased. Additionally, the pellet damage increase has been removed and replaced with a dramatic damage multiplier to the shockwave created by your blast. If you didn't know Boomstick had a damage cone in front of it, you certainly will after using this overclock. On the topic of multipliers, let's migrate over to the Gunner's Thunderhead Heavy Auto Cannon and its update for Carpet Bomber. Since Ghost Ship has become a fan of making stats multiplicative instead of additive, they have changed both the blast radius and AoE damage increase to scale by percentages. What this means is when you use the appropriate upgrades for the Thunderhead, they synergize with the overclock to create even bigger blasts. Neurotoxin Payload doesn't have it so easy. Both the AoE size and damage is reduced. The explosions are still large, but less so than their Season 3 counterparts. And since the Overclock is one of the most ammo efficient in the Gunner's roster, it has been bestowed the encumbrance of having less ammo. But it's not all negatives for Neurotox Payload. Since some of the residents of Hoxies lack the Neuros for the Toxin to take down, the original damage decrease from firing raid canisters instead of bullets has been removed. Now you can poison the masses and pummel the Praetorians. Next is the Hurricane Guided Rocket System, and from what I'm seeing, it has one of the most anticipated changes of the update, but we'll get to that in a second. First, we have to talk about Plasma Burster Missiles. Now, if you've seen my video on the Gunner's primary overclocks, you may remember that I had a hard time tracking the overclock's potential since the missiles would frequently introduce themselves into the soil at 40 miles an hour. With the addition of a self-preservation program on the missile's guidance system, the PBMs now try their hardest to murder your target and not the surrounding scenery. And if that wasn't enough of a buff for you, the amount of times a missile can penetrate is increased as well. <gasps> With the preservation update, I can finally count how many times one missile can hit! I can't count that high. Now it's time for the overclock we've all been waiting for. 
Manual Guidance Cutoff was certainly... unique. But it had no real place in the game. Because of this, the devs have obliterated the superfluous adjustment and replaced it with the new unstable overclock, Rocket Barrage. I could try using long words to try and sell you on this overclock, but I think my friend described it perfectly. Big Daka. Your missiles do less damage and cannot be guided, but I don't think a single person cares about that. If you're equipping Rocket Barrage, you just want that 3 times fire rate. To aid this shift in mechanics, you gain a lot more ammo and your spread is reduced by 50%. Now you can paint the caves in both blood and shrapnel with expert precision. Also, if you want to prevent the bugs from walking out of your beam of missiles, you can equip the uncontrolled decompression modification. Since the stun has a 25% chance of happening, it basically triggers the second you start landing hits. Now nothing can escape. Speaking of CC, let's go on over to Driller and talk about the Cryo Cannon. This weapon cools bugs down until their cells become crystalline. Unfortunately, the frozen status effect doesn't last too long, so you have to quickly capitalize on the opportunities it gives you. The Snowball Overclock now inflicts a special status effect to enemies that keeps them cold for a short time after being flash frozen. This means they won't start warming up for a bit, giving you ample time to do whatever you please. Oh, and the projectile costs less ammo. The Sabata for the Driller was also tweaked. That's actually kind of an understatement. The base stats for the weapon were adjusted and a lot of the modifications got changed or replaced. But I'm not going to get into that. We're here to see what changes happened to the overclocks. Tranquilizer rounds originally didn't do anything to enemies that were immune to stun. Because they're immune to stun. Because of that, Trank rounds now inflicts a slowing effect as well. This overclock has also jumped on the multiplier hype train. Now its fire rate reduction is based on a percentage. At least, that's what the update claims. The UI and wiki don't reflect this factoid, so I'm unsure. Lastly is Engineer and their epic Breach Cutter Overclock. Spinning Death. The Overclock's ammo penalty is reduced. And there you have it, every overclock changed for Season 4. I'm sure this list will not change at all and remain relevant for all of forever. Now go sanitize the planet and fend off the rock pox. While you're at it, consider subscribing! I have more DRG content on the way and a playlist full of videos to listen to while eradicating the local population. Or while you're playing the amazing game Raid Shadow Legends using the link in the description below. Also a Patreon, where you can watch these videos a day early. Um... End of outro...